Rise and shine. I don't want peace. I want problems always. Good morning, guys. You're probably like, Susie, where are you? This doesn't look like your new place. I'm in Canberra. Molly and I went to see Harry Styles in Sydney. So I just decided to stay for a little while in Canberra just to catch up with friends and see family and stuff. But I'm not gonna lie, I have been stressed out, a stressed mess. I just, for some reason, have been super overwhelmed with work and life lately. I've been sleeping in until like 11 to 12 and going to sleep at like 2 to 4 a.m. sometimes. Not good for the mental. But today I forced myself to wake up at 8 a.m. and I am ready to turn this rut around. But I've got a few things on the agenda today, so I thought I would take you guys with me on a getting my life together vlog. Next thing I need to do is my IPL hair removal because the last time I did it was a week ago and I'm due for a new treatment. I have had so many people asking me on updates on like how my Kenzie hair removal is going. And honestly, I got to the point where my hair was like non-existent and I was just like, sweet. and stop doing it. You have to upkeep it and I just did not upkeep it for like months. So it's not grown back to like the thickness that it was before but it's definitely grown back a lot. And the other week my ingrown hairs were so bad that I was like okay I need to get back on my IPL hair removal because I cannot deal with these ingrown hairs anymore. So I've been back into it in the last few weeks and I'm already seeing good results. I'm like why did I ever stop doing this? So I am very excited because Kenzie is kindly sponsoring this portion of the video, even though I fell off for ages. Love you guys. I picked this bad boy back up three weeks ago and three weeks ago, my hair looked like this after a week of not shaving. And three weeks later, this is what my hair looks like after a week of not shaving. And I'm actually really impressed with my results so far. I swear it works super quick. I have done waxing and it was the most painful experience my entire life. I tried epilating. That was almost as painful as waxing. And we all know how the nair went on my upper lip. So yeah, Gelly has tried every single type of hair removal and this is the best one that I've ever tried. So this is what the Kenzie hair removal device looks like. You get this three meter long power cord, which is super handy for getting into all your nooks and crannies. It does come with a US plug. So keep in mind, you will need to just get a power adapter. I got this one from Bunnings. It was like $6. So basically you just use the Kenzie once a week and you can get results as fast as two to three weeks and your full results after 12 weeks of using the device. And then after that, it's just upkeep. So you don't have to keep on using it every week anymore. I'm obviously only three weeks in, so I don't have my full results yet, but my hair is definitely growing a lot slower already. Thank God. And also thinner. You also, of course, get an instruction manual in the box and a skin tone chart. And the skin tone chart is super important because this is only gonna work with a specific skin tone and hair color. And if it doesn't work for you, you literally just let them know when they have a 90 day money back guarantee. So IPL is not the same as laser hair removal that you would get in a salon. It means intense pulsed light. And don't worry, it is completely safe to use at home. But you only have to buy this once and then you have it forever. Whereas laser, you're paying a lot of money and you have to keep on getting it as well. Okay, she's plugged in now and you'll see a green flashing light. So just press that to turn it on. And you just press that to change the intensity. So it goes from one to five. 
I use it on five. So this is my shaved armpit for all of your enjoyment. You just press this big button at the front and then you just go once all over the hair you wanna remove. So yeah, as I said before, your full results are gonna be after 12 weeks. So I'm excited to update you guys after 12 weeks and show you how my hair's doing. And Kenzie have kindly given us a code. You can use code SUS50 for 20% off the Kenzie device. I'll also have a link to shop it down in the description box. Now that I'm as smooth and hairless as a baby seal, we're gonna go to lunch with Hannah. I need to go and pick her up. So let's go to lunch. La, 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 la. I got back from hanging out with Hannah. It was the funnest time ever. I missed Hannah so much. And then I got home and I've basically just been like filming content for the past few hours and editing as well. Didn't want to film that because it was a bit boring. But since I have my makeup on, my mum has of course asked for me to model for her crochet Instagram. I'm her unofficial unpaid model. I'm ready for my photo shoot guys. Not sure about that. Oh, what do you think of that little one? I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Mum's not sure about this one. Oh, I think it's cute. It's done. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, that'll do me. Thank you very much. You happy, Mum? I am happy, thank you. Guys, I've made a grave mistake. I laid down on my bed and now I can't get up. <gasps> <sighs> It's now 7 p.m. Look how many things are ticked off on that to-do list. But yeah, it's now 7 p.m. and I still have a few things that I wanna get done. I've hit my afternoon slump or evening slump. I can't be the only one who gets to like sunset time and I, for some reason, turn into a gremlin. But something my psychologist told me to do when that happens is do some exercise. I'm gonna get my ass out of this bed and we're gonna go for a hot girl walk. I'm doing it. I'm getting up. Oh! But first we're taking my makeup off because I'm over it. Love makeup, hate the way it feels. I'm going on my hot girl walk and I'm walking fast because it's gonna start getting dark soon. Listening to a podcast and I'm ready to just head empty for the next 20 minutes. It's an olive tree. some chickpea curry for dinner. Mm, let's tuck in. This was literally just made with anything I could find in the cupboard. That is pretty damn good for something I just threw together. Ramsey, I'm coming for you. Mm. I got an itchy bum. It's now a bit past 10 p.m. and I still have not cleaned my room. I really should like go to sleep and kind of keep this good sleep schedule going, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't know how it got this bad considering I'm just visiting. I don't even have all of my things here. I brought a suitcase of stuff. Somehow every single thing from that suitcase has made its way onto my floor. Yeah, she's not doing fantastically. Oh. Who's that sexy gal in the mirror? Turn back to my old ways almost immediately after coming home. This is also a very bad idea, but I'm cracking open an energy drink because I need something, some sort of energy whilst cleaning this room. <sighs> We're starting by taking out any rubbish. This is a sandwich bag full of crumbs. Oh my God, this is from my sandwich the other day. She's a bit moldy. Oh, I'm so itchy for some reason. If you guys saw my moving vlog, I was talking about how I am really into these Woolworths bricks toys that you get for free when buying groceries. And mum hooked me up. Look at all of the ones that she got for me after seeing that video. <laughs> Next 
day. I've had a pretty stagnant day. Let's call it a slow day. Did not finish my room, but I made good progress. I basically like tidied everything. It just needs like surface cleaning now. First thing I need to do is go and clean out the chicken coop. So let's do that. You guys are gonna see my chickens for the first time in a long time. The girls are just having a nice run around and I'm getting to work. Step one, shovel out the old straw. Ooh, we have a nice fresh egg. Thanks girls. It's a little bit dark now because that took me quite a while, but we're all clean in here now. The ladies are checking it out. Someone's already checking out the new straw. I think they love it. Nice clean chicken coop and some new seeds. That's a job well done. They're putting themselves to bed, so I think it's time for us to leave. bright in here right now. I'm just doing a speed clean of my room. I'm feeling very motivated today, which I'm glad about. Yesterday, I just was not feeling 100% and I was going to come back in after cleaning the chicken coop out and clean my room, but I was like, I could do that and force myself to, or I could just decide that this is a restful evening and make the conscious decision to rest rather than resting and also feeling bad because I feel like I should be doing all this stuff. And now I've woken up feeling so nice, so rested and recuperated. Now I feel motivated to clean my room, which is amazing. Except my clean bed sheet has gotten pooed on by a bird. So we're just doing the duvet cover and stuff now. Now all I have to do is clean the bathroom and I am done with the cleaning for today and it's not even 12 o'clock yet. How good is getting up early? Let's do this. like an hour it was really dirty but I'm pretty happy with that because I didn't do any dawdling high five oh, I, just got beeped at. I don't know if I got that on camera but <laughs> someone just beeped at us because we're sexy I feel uncomfortable Kidding, just embrace I loved it. it I loved it <laughs> Ooh, would love to go for a dip right now. Should I just jump in? Yeah, do it. Do it for the vlog. We're jogging now. It is the morning of me flying back to the Gold Coast and I still haven't packed my bag yet. And I have about less than an hour to pack my bag. I don't think it should take me that long though because I just have to basically pack all the stuff I brought. I have no idea why I didn't do this last night. Actually, yes, I do. I was super tired, so I just went to sleep. And I woke up early, but not early enough because I'm still rushing. I am running out of space here and I still have so much to put in here, but we're gonna make it fit. I don't know if you guys have been able to tell from this video, but the way I have gone from like being so unmotivated and not doing anything to actually being super productive the last few days. Like obviously you guys didn't really get to see me before because I was too depressed to film. But some things that I think have helped the last few days is going on a lot of walks, getting those endorphins in. I am loving walking. And I know that, you know, walking is definitely one of those major things that improves your mental health. And what a surprise it has. Like, I feel like my sleep schedule is popping off at the moment. 
The only thing is, it always takes me quite a long time to fall asleep, even when I'm super duper tired. But I think that has something to do with my phone and looking at my phone before bed. Oh God, I need to weigh my bag. I completely forgot about that. Oh, it's like way under. It's only 19.4 kilos and I have 21 kilos. So I think I just heard Molly come. Hello. Hello. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna finish off the vlog here. And in the next video, I will be back in the Gold Coast. Bye guys! <laughs>